Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today, from McFarlane Toys in their DC Multiverse Land, we have Batrocitus. So this character is from the Dark Universe, uh, more specifically Dark Knight's Death Metal. Uh, the character is an amalgamation of Batman and the Red Lantern leader, Atrocitus. Um, it's a fantastic looking piece. Um, when I found this at the store today, I found it at my local Target. And I think this figure's been out for a couple of months, but it's just now I've seen it in the wild. Uh, the first, my first thought was is that it's such a clean looking action figure. It's almost like immaculate. The texture and the, the color of red contrasted against the black. It's like everything works so well together on this action figure. It's really one of those pieces where it seems like it's just like everything just kind of converges and just makes you know seemingly the most perfect looking action figure it looks great um as you can see he comes with some accessories he comes with an extra pair of hands and he also comes with a, a red lantern which is a much needed accessory on the back uh we have a nice beautiful uh image of the action figure itself and let's get started All right, so one thing I've noticed with some of these McFarlane figures, uh, previously most figures, they only had like one piece of tape at the bottom um, sealing it in, but lately it seems like some of these figures have three pieces of tape. I'm not sure if that's a theft uh, preventative measure or what, but... Also with in, ah, also included, uh, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied here. All right, also included with the action figure. We have the trading card and also the display base. And here's the action figure. Uh, first impressions of the figure is that it's a really beautiful shade of red. Um, although on my camera, I'm noticing that on video, it's appearing more reddish orange than red. If you handle the figure in person, it's a much more pure red, where on video, it, it kind of has almost like an orange uh, hue to it. Uh, the Red Lantern accessory looks awesome. It's a transparent plastic, and it looks really cool. I dig this a lot. Yeah, really well done. And let's get out the action figure. And real quick, uh, here's one of the extra hands. So I was kind of having some difficulty removing the figure from the tray. It seems like the plastic ties in this one uh, were a lot shorter, so they were they didn't stretch out. So I kind of had to just force the figure out. Uh, here's the extra hand. Is this a fist? Nothing too special.
All right, so let's take a look at Petrocitus. Yeah, as I'm handling the figure, it's like I said, this figure feels very, it's very um, clean in its design, and it seems like, not that it's the per, the most perfect action figure, but it seems like it's one of those figures where the design and the colors and just everything, it feels very perfect. I can't really rephrase it any other way, but there's something about this figure, it just... All, everything just comes together really well. And I'm just kind of fiddling around with it right now. It feels a bit... Not that it's a small figure, but it does feel a little bit on the smaller size um, compared to previous McFarlane figures from like the last two years. Um, I've mentioned this in other videos. It seems like McFarlane are kind of scaling down their figures a little bit. Uh, for example, yes, we're going to bring out uh, McFarlane Batman over here again. Um, so this is a, an older figure. Probably came out close to maybe two years ago. Um, as you can see, uh, Betrocitus, you'd kind of assume that the figure would be much larger in size. Because for one, uh, the Red Lantern leader, Atrocitus, who this character is half an amalgamation of, is a, is a really large figure. Uh, in fact, he had a, a Build-A-Figure for McFarlane not too long ago. But when compared to like an older McFarlane figure like this one here, you can see it's clearly a much smaller figure. So I'm not sure if this is a trend towards them um, actually trying to like correct the scales of their figures and kind of have them all in line with one another. Or if this is a budget issue and they're just making smaller figures altogether. I almost feel like it seems like, you know, at this rate, you know, I wouldn't be surprised that at some point maybe these are, these are actually scaled down to like uh, 1 12th scale, like Marvel Legends, because it does feel like these figures are getting a lot shorter. And I'm not sure if that's necessarily because they want to correct the scale issue. Uh, but regardless of that, the figure, it's really, really beautiful. Uh, let's take a look at it up close. The head is very impressive. Um, he has such a expressive face. He's kind of like growling at us. The teeth look amazing. The red lines on his head, they're, they're so cleanly done also. Um, let's get into focus. And I can't stress how beautiful the texture is on his under armor right here. It's really nice. It's so clean throughout the figure too. There are certain instances in, in past figures where, you know, the texture might be clean on some parts of the figure, but then it gets kind of softer and muddier on other parts. But the texture on this figure is like consistent throughout the, the entire body of the figure. And it's, I can't stress it enough, it's such a clean looking design. It's a really, really nice piece. And I'm almost tempted to say that if you want to build up your Red Lantern core of characters, uh, this would be a great figure to army build off of. Um, I think the one thing you'd have to do, though, is try to figure out a way to um, change out the logo on his chest so that it reflects the Red Lanterns. And then, you know, feel free to, like, do head swaps and create your own Red Lantern characters to accompany um, Atrocitus himself. But I think this would be a great base body for an army builder you know especially if you want to build up the red lanterns or you know even any of the other lantern cores you know like for example if you want to do like a green lantern you can easily just figure out a way to swap out the logo and its color are all the red pieces um green or if you want a, a yellow lantern a fear lantern you know it's you know same thing it's a really beautiful piece. I'm so impressed with this figure. So the texture is nice. Um, clean design on the upper torso. Uh, the shoulder pads do an excellent job of like conforming well to the body of the figure. It's not like they're, they kind of protrude too much. It's just right. You know, they kind of slope down gently with the rest of his shoulders down to his arms. Although that might hinder them 
actual arm movement going up. Uh, his torso is nice and clean. Um, one thing that might hinder the movement in terms of ab crunching is the points here on his abdomen. I don't really necessarily understand why this had to come down to a point like that. You know, that might prevent it from like crunching as forward or not. Um, I'm kind of glad that the trunks here match the color of the legs. Uh, in a handful of instances over my uh, previous McFarlane reviews, uh, it seems like sometimes the trunk piece here doesn't always match the colors of the legs or the torso. In this case, you know, it does a pretty good job of matching the colors. Uh, clean sculpts on the knees and the boots. Um, again, I'm very impressed with how McFarlane's been correcting their wrist and ankle joints. They're kind of covering up that hideous ball joint now. Especially with the ankles, they do a really excellent job right there. Um, Articulation-wise, this guy's head rotates left and right. Um, he looks down about that much. Looks up. Um, about there. Not too much... Uh, movement looking upward his arms rotate but you know as soon as you push them up they're gonna hit the shoulder piece uh, they do go outward he has the um, ball socketed butterfly joint on the inside of his arm uh, he has a bicep cut so he can have a swivel double pinned elbows articulated wrists uh, cut beneath the breast line so you can bend a little. You got, kind of get that movement. He swivels at the waist. It's kind of tight. At least on my figure. Um, his legs kick upward about there. And then he can kick outward. Uh, pretty much full splits. Uh, double pinned knees. And standard toe and ankle articulation so it's a really beautiful figure if you're into um you know the green lantern family of comic books and characters even though this guy's from the dark um universe i think this figure is definitely worth the purchase i love the fact that he actually comes with a green lantern i'm not a green lantern he actually comes with a lantern uh, some of the green lantern figures we, we've received previously they don't always come with this much needed accessory I kind of wish McFarlane would go the same route as Mattel because like with many of their Green Lantern figures or Red Lantern figures or Yellow Lantern figures, they always included a power ring. And I think it would have been fun if they, they at least gave us a, you know, like a full size power ring. That'd be a great accessory to have in addition to the lantern. But it's such a solid figure. The size might, um, you know beats one kind of think um negative point you know like i said it, this figure seems a lot smaller than it should be especially for this character you know it's it's a really nice figure though I, I i dig this guy a lot very expressive in the face and in the hands And pose-wise, he could do everything that you could expect from a McFarlane figure. I'm really impressed by the musculature also. He's he's buff and he's he's not too thick. He's he's just kind of burly, which I th I feel is really appropriate uh, you know for Betrocitus. So yeah, overall, great figure. Now, if I had to rate the scale numerically on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, for me, easy, 8.5 to a 9. It's really well done. I didn't expect this figure to be as nice as it is. Uh, for one, um, you know, I wasn't, not that I wasn't looking forward to this figure, but uh, I've stated this in the past. I'm not too fond of, like, the, the dark universe and, like, the death metal kind of stuff. Um, but in terms of an action figure, this is a really, really nice piece. You know, well-deserved in any collection. Can't recommend this enough. 
All right, with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I will see you at the next one. All right, later.